Hey, 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 Chris Young here, and uh, today we're going to be doing some National 5 Physics. We're going to jump straight into Unit 1. Uh, just a quickie, because I'm about to jump on uh, Apex and play a few games before Chaos descends. Um, so, Lecky, uh, formerly known as Lecky and Lecky, the education publisher for Scotland, uh, Unit 1 in National 5 Physics is all scalars and vectors. Now... What's the difference between a scalar and a vector, I hear you ask? Well, scalars are just uh, values. They're just numbers. For example, speed. How fast are you going, Chris? I'm going at 70 miles an hour. Okay, 70 miles an hour, that's just a speed. It doesn't talk about direction. Um, when a policeman stops you for speeding, he doesn't really care uh, which direction you were speeding in. It was the, uh, the speed uh, which is important. Um, how heavy? What, what's your mass, Chris? I hear you ask. Well, my mass, the last time I checked, was about 84 kilograms on a good day. Uh, 84 kilograms. Um, that's my mass. Uh, it's not my weight. Uh, mass doesn't have a direction. What is the mass of this, of this mug of coffee? Uh, it's probably, um, <laughs> it's probably about, I don't know, 400 grams, 300 grams or something like that. I mean, 270 now. I don't know. Mass doesn't have a direction. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so, so that's what scalars are. They're just numbers. I don't, don't get too, you know, caught up in, in that. It doesn't, you know, it's just a number. Vectors, on the other hand are very different. They have numbers and directions. So, for example, uh, velocity. Velocity is speed and direction. So if I'm driving at 70 miles an hour north, then that's, that's a vector, you see? Okay, so these are obviously also very important, especially if you're in a plane or something like that. Um, or on a mountain with nothing but a compass and a map to guide you, then um, speed and direction are obviously uh, very, very important. Uh, weight, I would say weight is a, is a vector because it's a force. It's mass times the gravitational pull. So, so you've got, I'm 80 kilograms. The gravity is about 10. Uh, or is it 10 kilograms per, what is it, gravity? I can't remember what the units are for gravity. But anyway, you, you multiply your, your mass by 10, don't you? Because it's force equals mass times acceleration. And it's going straight down the way, isn't it? Towards the center of the Earth. If you believe that the Earth is round, of course, because not everybody does, and uh, I probably won't be talking about flat earth theory much in this uh, series, but I'm not ruling it out. But as far as we know, or we are taught... <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm, not, I'm just not going to... I'm just not going to open up that kettle of fish right now. Um, so anyway, the point is that mass times acceleration, so... If I am 80 kilograms, uh, gravity is 10, uh, so 800 newtons uh, down the way. So that's a vector, you see? Okay, so that's the difference between scalars and vectors. Scalars are pretty easy to add together. You just add them together. There's no big deal. Vectors, you have to add, uh, you have to think of them in triangles a lot more. And, you know, if you're going up, uh, at 10 meters per second if you're climbing up a, if you're climbing up a ladder at 5 meters per second and the ladder is falling down at 10 meters per second then how fast are you moving and in what direction uh, you're going up at 5 and you're going down at 10 then you must be even though you're climbing up the ladder you're still going down at 5 meters per second that's crazy man too much coffee Okay, so, uh, anyway, another difference between the uh, scalars and vectors is uh, distance 
and displacement. So distance, you can walk in a wiggly line uh, from A to B. And you could look at your phone and it tells you you've walked uh, three miles. Um, but if you look at a map and you draw a line, it, it might only be one mile directly from A to B. So the three miles is, is the distance you have walked. But at the end of the day, the displacement is the, the straight line, the one mile. And I was confused about the difference between distance and displacement. I remember very clearly one day in high school, I was... Uh, the teacher told me to go downstairs and get like a Bunsen burner from the storeroom or something. So I went downstairs, got the Bunsen burner, went back upstairs, and the boon, and that was that. And I realized I I got like a oh, moment um, because the distance I had walked was two flights of stairs. I'd walk down a flight of stairs and up a flight of stairs. I was tired. I was out of breath. But the displacement was zero because at the end of the day I had returned to my starting point. See the difference? So that is the main uh, the main point of, of this, this chapter. It also talks about bearings. You may have seen in a movie, uh, uh, come in, Captain uh, Captain Smith. Uh, we are we are now moving uh, at three hundred knots at a bearing of five 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 five. Is that even a bearing? No. It's not because it's more than 360. Bearing numbers only go up to 360. 555 five, five wouldn't make any sense. Basically, at a bearing of 555, five, five, it would be 190. Which is just <laughs> south. Just off south a little bit. So that's quite interesting. You see, that's what I like about science is you make a little mistake and you learn something. Um. So bearing, if you're looking at the, looking down at a map, the, it's, the compass is like a clock face. Never eat shredded wheat. It's also like zero all the way around, zero all the way around to, to 360. You wouldn't say a bearing of 360. You'd say a bearing of zero. So, yeah, so that's vectors for you. Um... I don't know what much else to say about this, really. I'll be talking more about velocity later on. Um, but that's probably enough to be going on with for now, because Apex is calling. I've got some some zapping to do. Um, but yeah, just what, what other scalars and vectors can, can we think of? Uh, temperature? Temperature, is that a scalar or a vector? It's a... Scalar because temperature is, does not have a direction. You don't say, "Oh, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm burning up. I feel like I'm forty degrees up." <laughs> because that's where the, because it looks like it might be up because it's, never mind. But we do say higher. The temperature is higher than than before but that's obviously not talking about directions that's just like value um i've already talked about uh forces kind of do you remember what force is force a vector or a scalar force is of course a it's a vector because every force for it to make sense it has to have a direction so we often use um, right angle triangles when talking about forces. And when we're combining forces or breaking them down into components, Pythagoras and Sokatoa will become your next best friends. Um, what else? Scalar or vector? Uh, how about um, length? I don't think length is a vector. I think it's a scalar. Or is it? Length. What is the length of that table? 100 centimeters. In which direction? Lengthwise. <laughs> I have to think about that. I don't think length is a vector. Uh, what other?
other units are there's height, weight, mass, speed, uh, and wavelength. Wavelength, is that a vector or a scalar? Like it's a bit like length, isn't it? It's the length of the wave, it's a scalar. Frequency, frequency, that's a good one. Is that a scalar or a vector? Frequency, 50 hertz. It doesn't really matter what direction it is in. Uh, so I think it's a scalar. Okay, so that's probably a good place to stop. Uh, scalars versus vectors. Mm, I don't know. I think it's, it's important to know that, really. Because... <laughs> if you're being hunted by... By a... a, a you know members of the upper class <laughs> then and your buddy says where is the guy with the the crossbow and you say oh he's he's 50 meters then you want to know which direction that is in don't you is it 50 meters which way which bearing direction distance and direction yeah let's see that's a vector Direction is important, kids. <laughs> ah, right, okay, well, I hope that's um, helped in some way, shape or form, uh, your understanding of scalars and vectors, uh, National 5 Physics, and thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye!